PSN Profiles gave Back for Blood a 9 out of 10 difficulty rating, but in reality, just getting the Platinum Trophy alone is probably only a 7, because the hardest difficulty on the vanilla version of the game isn't really that hard. Well, maybe not Act 3. That was pretty tough, but everything else was just totally fine. It's when the game introduces the DLCs and its trophies is what makes this game a 9 out of 10 difficulty. And that's finishing Acts 5 and 6 on No Hope difficulty. Now unlike my past videos, we're not just going for the Platinum Trophy anymore, but we're going for the 100% this time around. Which this game has 94 trophies of. Holy sh**. So with that being said, I'm going to leave a couple of base game trophies alone and finish the DLCs first so I can leave the Platinum for last. To learn the game and to collect a bunch of skill cards that we'll need for the harder difficulties, I decided to play the easiest difficulty first and casually get as many miscellaneous trophies as I can. 65 trophies later, we finally encountered our first difficult trophy and that's called the Path to Glory. This is to complete a map in the Trial of the Worm DLC with a total of at least times 20 corruption modifiers. Here the game gives us 4 options on what type of hell we want to encounter in this mode. Either increased difficulty, deadlier special infected, or deadlier hordes, or even more disadvantages on our characters. To dip our toes in the water and see what we're getting ourselves into, we decided to try out the times 5 multiplier first. Uh, help me. Thank you. Oh my. I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. Oh dear lord. I'm down. There's a dog that comes out of him that sometimes may revert him to the the windmill to punches. Type. This dude is everywhere. It's like you 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 go for something and he just starts flinging his arms. Now that warm up is done, it was time to do this challenge for real this time. Well, 21 at least. You're good now. That was a good warm up, Burn. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, holy. God dude, bless. So much. That's all. Oh, we're so. F ADS oh. is disabled. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah, dude. All right, I guess I'm not using Bailey the sniper. Boots. Yeah, I'm not using the sniper. <laughs> There's ogre. Not Run. Really ideal conditions for treatment. Ah, well. Run. That's well, crazy. Well, oh, that's wild. Oh, God. That's oh, crazy. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the game's like, oh, you thought? <laughs> oh, my God. This isn't chaotic at all. No, 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 no. no. Not even close. Uh, yeah, a little bit. Not even a little bit. Yeah, we gotta do that. Bro, ain't no way, dude. No, no, once, once we get a proper build. Yeah. But you know what they say? Third time's the charm. While doing our third attempt, an armored breaker did show up, and this is when we realized that we needed to break set armor for the breakfast trophy. Uh, yeah, we're fine. Uh, there's a breaker coming. There he Hi is. There. He's armored too. Wait, he's armored. Oh, he's armored. Break it! Break it! <laughs> That's why I left. Ah! Rev up those fryers, cause I am sure hungry for Bro, I literally can't shoot it. Oh my god, alright. Let me not do that, I'm not a hero. Trophy! Yeah! I'm dead, I'm dead. Yeah. Run. That random trophy was cool and all, but we were still struggling to get this trophy, so we decided to all make a melee build to help our chances of survivability tremendously. On paper, it was an excellent plan, except for the fact that there were not enough melee weapons to go around. Specifically for me. I don't have a melee thing yet. Since I did make a melee build, however, the wheels in my brain finally started turning and I had a brilliant idea of dropping all my weapons. And started punching. Destination, the emergency room. For you. <laughs> also, at one point in the run, I guess the game felt bad for me because it randomly gave me a knife. Which is a game changer, honestly, because this thing absolutely shreds. But after the endless punching and shanking, we did manage to pull through. Trophy! Trophy. Path to glory! Ooh, hell yeah! Let's go! <laughs> and for some reason, I started off my solo attempt for Act 5 on No Hope difficulty first before anything else. I did test out different builds for the solo run on what would work, but this whole attempt took me a day and a half to actually finish. While doing this, I found that speedrunning through the game is the best for me and it looks like the most fun thing to do just flying through the map. I also practiced on how to jump boost. I just made that name up, I'm not sure what it's called really. But doing this tactic basically makes us faster, and we can do it infinitely without ever running out of stamina. And honestly, this made me want to speedrun in the future. I don't know man, I just felt super cool doing this whole thing, and it literally looks like I know what I'm doing when in reality. In reality, I was just winging it the entire time and my butthole was puckered so tight that not even the vacuum of space can bust it open. 
With all the praise on speedrunning through Act 5, I didn't actually finish this act using this method. That was terrible. <laughs> That's because the third level on this act, which is the prison area, is where this game eventually caught up to me and put me on a very firm chokehold. Not only could I freely gallop like a dolphin in open water, but the fact that there's a whole ass ogre on this level that wipes out my bots and the finale has you caged in like a rat, like literally with nowhere to run, and that we had to wait until homeboy decides to open a trap door for us to escape out of, which I only did make it here twice throughout my whole run, which was the whole dang day. This is pretty much the rest of my run after that. I was blind. Oh, damn it. The Wolverine, dude. Unfortunate. Help me, please. Please. Alright, I gotta stop doing. Alright, alright. Cool. Okay, sorry. Good talk. So we just begun. How many zombies? Come over here and kiss me on my hot mouth. I'm feeling romantical. Finally accepting the fact that I was definitely not him. Back to Kuzma on the sideline, triple try short. I had to go back to the drawing board and reassess my situation. After exhausting every build option in my arsenal, I had to go bite my pride and use the broken melee build. One of the main reasons I refused to use this build is because of an in-game bug. Where if you mix certain cards together, you basically get unlimited stamina which makes you just swing forever. So yeah, I have been working on this act for god knows how long and now I finally decided Screw it all. I just wanted this over with. So off I went holding R2, swinging away. Fun. While using this broken build, I did manage to blast through the first three levels of this act. Until I ran into a roadblock on the fourth level, however. This place was definitely made to stop cheesy trophy hunters like myself from finishing this game as easily as possible. With my melee build, I actually have a card that prevents me from aiming in. So yeah, imagine trying to hipfire with a sniper rifle the entire level. I mean, it's also possible to ping the snipers and sometimes your AI companions actually kill them for you. Sometimes. So with me praying that I hit a sniper shot to praying that my AI companion kills the snipers for me, the entire run was just me waiting in a corner until another horde comes on through with a bunch of special infected getting a shot at us multiple times. Which results in, you guessed it, BE GONE HOT! After absolutely getting pounded multiple times, Lady Luck finally felt sorry for me as I found a means to skip this treacherous level. I wasn't sure if I was already close to a safe house anyways, but I didn't want to risk this opportunity. <sighs> The hive kind of saved me there. Now that I was in the hive, it was just a matter of playing it really slow and finding an exit. You would think that the last level is going to be the hardest, but it was actually a walk in the park. And after freeing all the prisoners and priming all the explosives, I just had to leave and rightfully get what's mine. Let's go! Uh. <laughs> Trophy! It's been so long. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> now with this victory, it's been days since I felt a good momentum going, it was time to- Oh, game crushed. <laughs> Though I did get set back in terms of kills, I technically already have the trophy, so it wasn't that a big a deal. But after beating Act 5 on No Hope, I was already feeling confident in beating the main acts on Nightmare Difficulty which is a step down in difficulty, so you can tell why I'm overly confident in getting this done. Since I actually wanted to have fun in the game and not just hold the trigger and infinitely slash away, I did a couple of test runs on different builds to see what I would enjoy playing. And this is when I found the Shotgun Tala build. Not the strongest build out there, but it's tons of fun using. Basically, I just had to equip all the cards that boost the use of a shotgun, and pretty much getting all damage cards in the process. With this deck, I now had to use Tala. Tala is the most recent DLC character with her passive is the key recipe for this build, which is her bleed effect. 
So every time she causes damage to anything, it inflicts bleed on those targets. Using a shotgun for Tala means that a widespread blast from a shoddy can inflict bleeding on everything that it hits. Which means that all the infected that I was struggling with in the past are now just walking marshmallows. The only downside to this is that the majority of our cards being damage cards, these cards also has a drawback in making our character extremely squishy. And the only solution I have for this is to play extra safe, hug corners, and just taking my sweet time getting to the objective. And with that plan set in stone, it was time to game. <laughs> Load that mother- BAM! Get in there, get the goddamn missile and the goddamn thing! Where's the missile? BAM! Hurry up! Don't even let them regroup! BAM! I don't give a damn! Oh, we can show up! His old family could show up! His grandmother could show up! I'm blasting everyone! Hurry up! <laughs> God damn it! Hi, Bob! Bam! God damn it, one more! Please, for the love of Jesus Christ, amen! Oh my god, you freaking... This is insane. Ogre oh, didn't even get a chance to leave. <laughs> yeah, get trapped in there, sucker! Let's go! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the freaking use there? speed, he was like, I'm coming out. No, you ain't. Nah, you got it. Nah. Nice, let's go. Troll? Trophy. <laughs> Trophy. <laughs> oh my god. Freaking died at the last bit. That's crazy. Trophy. Jesus, that's all I wanted. Ruby. And a wise man once said, with all great runs, will always be a banana peel on the road to greatness. I'm talking about the last level for Act 3. In this level, the game has you hitting the breeding ground of the zombie infection. This whole map is just a sphere of death and carnage. The game introduces the T5 grenade, which drops an enemy's armor to that of melted cheese. So these things are really great against ogres and the like, but mostly for ogres. I had to run around to destroy these giant pimple things to hurt their production of more worms, which is uh, what makes the zombie dudes, I guess. And the entire time you're doing this, the game spawns an infinite amount of hordes to mess you up, and also an infinite amount of ogres. Pretty much the game throwing everything at me but the kitchen sink. Yeah, let that sink in. Since we're using the squishiest person known to man, you can safely tell that I was getting down in mere seconds of entering the fray. But after hours of dying, I figured out that no enemies spawned on the outmost corners of the map. So best believe I started hugging that corner like a koala on Kool-Aid, and took my sweet, sweet time in focusing more on killing everything first before attempting to destroy the objective. And this happened. Let's go! Oh my god! I thought I failed again. Screw this mission. Screw this mission so much. What a fiery passion, dude. Oh my, give me my trophies, boy. Oh my god, dude. That was so hard being... That mission was so hard alone, dude. Now that Act 3 was done, I had to wait to do Act 4 so I can do it with the squad I started with. So in the meantime, it was time to go back to the hellish experience that is the first level on Act 6. I say back because before I ever went to Acts 1 through 3, I was actually attempting to do Act 6 first. But I wanted to show you guys first on how annoying an ogre can be and how much hit points it has. Now what if I told you that on the hardest difficulty, you have to not only deal with these Dollar General Wolverine knockoffs, but also an armored ogre at the same time. Yes, you heard me right. The already tanky boss known as the Ogre now has more armor plating all around its weak spots. This part took me days to finish, and I mean literal days. I pretty much only needed to plant two bombs and wait for the gate to open and run away to the boat, and that was game. But like any good story, it wasn't that simple in my case. The moment I come even close to the tower, the Ogre spawns immediately along with the X-Men. 
I even watched a tutorial guide on how to get through this part on no hold difficulty. Yes, I was on a low point in my life at this moment. Constantly dying on the same spot over and over and over again. I decided to take a break and go for another trophy which is when I started the main game. But that was done and I needed to get this DLC out of the way to make sure I obtained the platinum trophy for last. So now I don't have any more excuses to hold this level off, it was time to do the impossible. It was a new day and all I had in my mind was getting this game done. I knew what I had to do so I booted the game and I went to work. And you know how that saying goes whenever someone says all skill? Well I wish I could say that for this one because my entire run was pure luck. So this being my first try for the day, I felt confident, but the game decided to drop my frame so bad that I actually felt dizzy playing it. The frame's so bad I can't. <laughs> Give me a headache. But I didn't want to just reset my game because I felt like this was the run. And just as hope is dwindling away along with my frame rates, I managed to pull a miracle. If, if y'all can pick me up, I can book it for real. Mom? Mom? Anyone? Pick me up right now? Pick me up right now? I'm hurt. Me, right, right. Okay. Alright, my frame's is ass. I know what's happening. Oh my god, the luckiest thing I've ever done in my life. Please. Move. Goodness gracious, dude. Alright. But our luck hasn't run out yet, folks, because at the last bit of Act 2, I had to hold out for an X amount of minutes. And not only that, but the frame gods were doing everything in their godly powers to bring me down and drag me to the dirt. And as hope was fading, Lady Luck came through once again. Oh my god, let's go! Oh my god! Oh my god! I don't even know how many how like how many things were, were against me at that level, dude. I was at 60 HP. Hope one, come in. Everyone's dead. As far as I, can go. I was out of ammo. Ahead, my frames like were struggling. Have been shipping it was I was at 10 back. frames. Jesus Christ, there was a breaker. I thought I was gonna die. Holy crap. Holy crap. Oh, y'all think it gets easier? Nah, nah. Nah, nah! Because on the third level, we had to hold out yet again. But this time with the game spawning unlimited snipers, and they eventually gunned down all of my teammates. Reset was the only thing that was going through my mind. But deep inside, I wanted to see if I could pull off another miracle. And just as luck would have it, Let's go. Oh my god, I'm getting so lucky right now. I didn't have to I didn't even have to do the horde part. Yeah. Now for the fourth level of Act 6. Does it become easier? Nope. This is where the game decided to pull all the stops and absolutely bombard me with the most bull corruption cars there is in the game. And not only that, there are actually snipers around the map that my shotgun couldn't reach this time. So I finally started struggling once again, but with pure determination and a little bit of faith in the luck of the draw, I kept pushing on. Even if my character kept dying, I would find a way to move forward and finish the level. Hello, hello. Wait, I have to wait here, don't I? Mother. Was there a hive there? I didn't see it. No. Hopefully we get lucky here again. I feel like if we don't move, they won't know we're here. 
What the hell? Stand up, Jim. Stand. Got. Stand. Jim. Jim. Close the goddamn door, Jim. Oh my god. So little red. That's what I'm saying. I was like, if I don't move, they'll they'll forget that I'm here. They're like, they're dead. All right. So once we. Uh, oh my god. There's snipers. I forgot there's snipers and this this ogre. Holy crap. Holy crap. Holy crap. Holy crap. Holy crap. Sniper's gone. Don't lob. Don't lob. Don't lob. I'm just gonna... In this corner? I'm just gonna be in this corner? Please? Holy fuck. Oh my god, dude, I've been so lucky this entire act. Hell oh yeah. And with the last level of Act 6, I could finally taste that sweet, sweet breeze of victory because the final boss fight is actually the easiest mission in the entirety of Act 6. Chilling on this corner where it couldn't hit me and casually blasting this thing with all the rocket launchers I could find, it was time to just walk back to the safe room and that's the hardest difficulty on the hardest act in the game, done. Trophy, let's go! <laughs> yes! Screw this DLC so much! Let's go! Ah! Now it was time to finish Act 4 with the squad I started with so we could all get the final story trophy together. Oh, oh damn, my, my bleed isn't applying to this dude. That's bad. I did find out that the Tala build I've been using doesn't work for this boss, so I had to make another build, but this time just pure damage. With this build, I would just shoot off chunks of this boss's hit points, and this thing didn't even make it to the second area because of how much damage I'm dealing to this thing. And that was all the story trophies done. Look at the damage on that, bro. Have a big attack. Ah, I know. Uh, All right, let's go. Let's go left. Reloading my gun real quick. Gun, gun. My God, dude. Watch out for his tails. They're getting attacked. God dang it! I couldn't hit it. Checking one as well. Okay. One no, one more, one more, one more, one more. On, I can't, it. I can't aim. Hello? Oh my god, dude. Hit, hit it like... Oh, oh wait. I got it. Uh, a little, little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. Below, 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 below. I've got you, Jim. Yeah, if you can pick hey, me up, it's over. If you can pick him up, it's over. Thanks. Yeah, pick, pick him up, it's over. Wait. Got him, I got him. I'm gonna go down. Okay, right, okay, go. Uh, no, I'm, I'm going down, but like, I'm not gonna go down, down yet. It's oh, over, geez. it's over, it's over. Yeah, yeah we, got we, got it, got it. we got it, we got it. We got it. Hell yeah. Easy game, bro. Dude, the, bro, I could have just gotten the 50 kill in the first place. Stay alive! Yeah. Bro, now we're good, we're good, we're good, it's over. Bro, Goofy, let's go. Me. Let's get yes. it. Yes. That's that was the easiest fucking troll. An act for a veteran. That was the easiest guy. GG, Bruce. GG. And for the last trophy for that sweet platinum, a minor setback, if it wasn't for my save corrupting and setting me back a couple thousand kills, I would have already had this trophy. But I had to farm some kills for a couple more hours, and after that final kill, the platinum was mine. Actually, I, I want to make it. Oh, I never mind. Groovy! Damn. Let's freaking go. I was I was about to say like I wanted to make it to where like uh, I want to get a sniper and just like do like one shot each, but that's it. I I know life this game for like a whole week straight. Oh man. Feels good, feels good. Thank you all for watching this far and for all the endless support you guys are giving me. This video took a lot longer to make because I was too occupied with Baldur's Gate and during Christmas when I finally decided to finish this video, I ended up getting COVID. But now it's done and I just wanted to say belated Merry Christmas to everyone and a Happy New Year. And with that being said, much love to everyone, stay safe and as always, I hope everyone has a phenomenal day. Trophy!